When you hear the word lagoon, you probably think of something like this. But there are other types of lagoons too. They don't look quite as glamorous, but they can be critically important to your community. Well, when you flush the toilet, your wastewater can go any number of different places. For some communities, wastewater goes to lagoons. Lagoons aren't just a holding pond for wastewater. They actually use natural and chemical processes to treat it. A lagoon system is a shallow lined pond that sometimes has aeration and maybe disinfection before the wastewater is released into the water bodies. If wastewater isn't treated properly before discharge, it can contaminate our lakes and rivers and even our drinking water. It's a big circle. It's the circle of water. It's uh, use, uh, consuming it, discharging our wastewater, treating it, um, returning it to the river, uh, and then having it recycle again. An effectively operating treatment plant will allow residents to continue to recreate in their water bodies. Lagoons are an efficient, lower cost wastewater solution with a small carbon footprint. They can be particularly beneficial for small, rural, and tribal communities that are less densely populated and may not be able to afford expensive and energy intensive mechanical wastewater treatment plants. You know, the data shows that one in four wastewater treatment systems is a lagoon system as opposed to a mechanical wastewater treatment plant. Lagoons can fall into disrepair because of funding needs and lack of maintenance. Many lagoons are used in communities whose budgets are already strapped. Small communities oftentimes have a difficult time maintaining their lagoon systems, mostly because they lack the technical, the managerial, or the financial capability to properly operate and maintain them. EPA is addressing these challenges with its Lagoon Wastewater Treatment Action Plan, which offers tools and resources to communities so they can identify a lagoon's maintenance issues. And this is why this toolkit's so important, because it helps a community, A, figure out what's happening in their lagoon system, and then B, diagnose that and treat that system so it's improved to meet our water quality requirements, which are so important to providing clean and safe water uh, around the country. Learn more about the tools available to help your lagoon community at EPA's website, epa.gov lagoons.